ever wondered what really makes someone gay? <laughs> is it the glitter, the love for Beyonce, or maybe there's a hidden rainbow switch inside all of us? Well, guess what? It's none of that. But stick around because the truth might surprise you. And it's way deeper than you might think. And yes, we're about to dive into the real science behind it. Yep, actual research. So it turns out being gay isn't just about playlists and fabulous style, though we do rock at that. <laughs> it's literally written in your DNA. And it's not just humans. Did you know that over 1,500 animal species have shown homosexual behavior? From dolphins to penguins, same-sex bonding is common in the animal kingdom. So it actually shows that being gay is perfectly natural. Now let's talk about society. Believe it or not, having gay people in society benefits us all. Yeah, we help keep the planet a little less crowded since many of us don't have biological kids. So hello, fewer diapers and population control. And that's not all. We often have the freedom to pour time, money and creativity into art, culture and making the world a better place for future generations. From leading movements to shaping trends, we've always been game changers. I don't say everyone, but I mean, in general, huh? Let's jump back to the science, shall we? Researchers have been studying this for years, and a large-scale study published in Science in 2019 looked at data from nearly half a million people and found that genetics do play a role in sexual orientation. No, there's not a single gay gene or something, but there are genetic markers that could influence who we're attracted to. The study showed that same-sex attraction is a mix of genetic, environmental, and social factors, proving that people are born this way. And that is not all. Some studies suggest that hormones in the womb, like exposure to different levels of testosterone, may influence sexual orientation. There's even research showing differences in brain structures between gay and straight people, suggesting that the way we're wired is part of who we are from the very beginning. Being gay isn't about glitter or playlists. It's in your genes, your biology. It's about who you're attracted to, who makes your heart race, and who you can see yourself loving. But hey, if the rainbow comes with it, no complaints. What's life without a little sparkle, right? The truth is, being gay is just another way to love and live life. Yeah? Whether science explains it fully or not, what matters most is that love is love. So embrace it. You're perfect exactly the way you are. So go ahead and share this with someone who still thinks it's a personal choice. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more fun content about gay love and gay dating. See you next time. Bye-bye.